Welcome to the second video lessons of uh, system of linear equation under PMAT 11522. Today we are going to discuss about the elementary row operations. In matrix algebra, there are three uh, types of uh, operations corresponding to elementary row operations. An elementary row operation of, on an augmented matrix produce, uh, produces a new uh, augmented matrix corresponding to a, a new but equivalent uh, system of linear equation. So, if, if you start with one uh, matrix by, apl uh, by applying a sequence of row operation into the this matrix, you can obtain a new matrix. So, we call these two matrices as a row equivalent matrix because one matrix can be obtained by applying a set of row operations to the uh, to, uh, to the first uh, matrix. So, this is the first um, row operation interchanging the two rows. Usually, if we uh, interchange i row and uh, j row, usually we denote uh, row by uh, i row by r i and j row by r j, then since we are interchanging these two row, we denote it by the double arrow notation that uh, to show that we are interchanging these two rows so r i double arrow r j for example if we interchange the first row and the second row so in the first row is going to the second row and the second row is coming as the first row so this should be the usual notation now we will see using one example Suppose we have the original matrix 0, 1 in the first row, 0, 1, 3, 4. The second row, minus 1, 2, 0, 3. Now, we interchange uh, uh, the first row into the second row and the second row into the first row. So, all the entries of the first row are coming as the second row, 0, 1, 3, 4. All the entries of the second row are coming as the uh, entries of the first row minus 1 2 0 3 so the second row a third row is unchanged it remains as it is so now we can we call this is a interchange in the two rows we use the notation r1 is going to r2 and r2 is coming as uh, r1 so that's how we perform the row operation interchange in two rows the next one is you can multiply a row by a non-zero constant. For example, if you consider the ith row, you can multiply the uh, ith row by a non-zero constant. Remember, it should be a non-zero constant. You can multiply only by a non-zero constant. So, then you will get the new ith row. For example, suppose uh, we multiply the first row by half. So, that means uh, in the notation, it should be you multiply the first row by half and it this will be the new first row. In the example, suppose we have the original matrix 2, minus 4, 6, minus 2. This is the first row. Now, I want to make this 2 as 1. So, what you can do, you can uh, multiply the first row uh, by half. Then you will get 1 here. So, multiplying by half means you divide it by 2. So, you divide by 2 by 1, uh, 2, then you get 1. Divided minus 4 by 2, you get minus 2. Uh, divide by divide 6 by 2, then you will get 3. And divide minus 2 by 2, you get minus 1. So, then that's how you multiply the first row by uh, non zero value half. So, the notation is would half times R1 becomes new R1. That is, uh, the second row operations multiplying a row by a non-zero constant. Third uh, row operation, elementary row operation is uh, the at a multiple of a row to another row. So, suppose you want to change Ri by adding the j row, uh, multiplying the j row by lambda and adding in, add in into the ri. 
So this will be the new Ri. That's how we use the notation. So that means we multiply the j row by a non-zero lambda and add into the i row to make a chain i row. Now see the example. So now in this the Palovin matrix, we first row is multiplied by minus two and add into the third row. The first row is multiplied by minus two and add into the third row. So in the third row we have two. I want to make this one into zero. So that means you can multiply this uh, one by minus two and add into the third row. So therefore each entries of the first row multiplied uh, they are multiplied by minus two and added into the third row. One into minus two is minus two. Minus two plus two is zero. Two into minus two is four. Minus four. Minus four plus one is minus three. Minus four into uh, minus two is uh, eight. Eight plus five is thirteen. Here you have thirteen. And three into minus two is minus six. Minus two plus minus two is minus eight. That's how you get the new third row. Again, the notation. Since you are multiplying the first row by minus two. And add it into the R3, so you have the notation R3 plus minus 2R1. Uh, in that is the new R3. Or alternatively, you can say R3 is minus 2 times R1 is new R1. You don't need to this parenthesis and uh, the thing, other things. Just write R3 minus 2R1 is equal to is the new R and R. 3 should be here 3 so that is 100 so each element of uh, uh, r1 is multiplied by minus 2 and added into the corresponding element of the third row so here you have to keep uh, very important things uh, in mind so if you are going to change the i row so in usually you should not multiply it by a scalar. So that means if you are going to change the i row, you are not multiplying the i row by any number. You can multiply only another row and add into the i row. For example, here, since we are changing the i uh, third row, we do not uh, we do not multiply the third row by any number, but only multiply the first row by minus two and add into the third. Row. So, what we have discussed today about the elementary row, row operations, how we can apply, uh, what are the main three uh, row operations that we are going to uh, use uh, in order to uh, convert any given matrix into another form. So, we will discuss a couple of examples in the new, next uh, few lessons so then you can understand. Uh, how we can apply what are the row operations and how we can apply these row operation into a matrix to obtain a new equivalent matrix thank you so much for joining with us